Hello there. I hope you've all had a wonderful work week. So does your finance department, do they understand marketing? Do they get content? Well, according to a new UK-based research study, financial analysts are more aware than ever that marketing can play an instrumental role in the growth and value of a business. I know, shocking, right? But as it turns out, they also think cutting the marketing budget, well, that's a positive cost-saving measure. So what gives? Want to know more? Well, this is five minutes of what you need to lead in marketing. Let's roll. Hello, everybody. Robert Rose here with the content and marketing strategy news. It is what's new, but most importantly, yeah, you know, it's what's important in the world of marketing. And for the best and best practices, you can head on over to contentmarketinginstitute.com. So, the Institute of Practitioners and Advertising, which might be the most English-sounding marketing organization I've ever heard of, and Brand Finance, a London-based brand valuation and strategy consultancy, well, they've teamed up and they produced a research report that debuted at the IPA's FWorks Global 2023 conference this week. The research reflected the views of more than 200 financial analysts whose job it is to review the financial results of a company and then associate that value with an investment strategy. So the main headline coming out of the research, and it is a big one, is that quote-unquote strength of brand and marketing is considered the most important factor to these analysts' appraisals. Brand strength and marketing was cited by these financial analysts more than leadership quality, technological innovation, reported profits, sustainability, ESG, or even employee experience. The conclusion, according to the IPA, is that investors are now placing increasing importance on investment in, yeah, brands. However, interestingly as well, more than half, 52% of these investors also say that they would view a company and its marketing spend and cutting it as a positive cost-saving measure. And just about a third, 36% of these analysts, view cost-cutting measures as a short-term fix with long-term negative consequences. So what's my take on these numbers? Well... I think these numbers indicate something that I know most marketing leaders deal with on a daily basis as they try to justify their spend, their brand building, and save it from getting hacked from the finance office. CEOs and CFOs trust marketing and brands, but they don't trust marketers and brand builders. In other words, these investors think it's saving money is a smart business decision, but spending money is only smart, you know, when it works. So in looking at a brand that's successful, it's always very easy to say, you know, that brand is really valuable and we might over-index on brand value over profitability or technological innovation because, you know, that brand is so strong, solid, valuable. But in the process of building a brand, it's just as easy to say, eh, let's save some money. That's an easy way to get to profitability or value. One of the other findings in the study that I also found interesting was that 8 out of 10 of these investment analysts they said that advertising and marketing promotional spend, yeah, it was part of their assessment at the companies that they examined. But of those that do, less than half, 46%, believe marketing and promotional spend drives organic growth. And only just over half, 54%, say that price, well, that can be benefited by a brand and advertising communications. I mean, that's just strange to me. I mean, other than saying that Apple, Adobe, Samsung, and just about every high fashion brand in the world would like a word with you in the corner, well, this is just a fascinating thing. I mean, I think the reason that financial analysts still struggle with the concept of brand power and pricing is not because they don't understand it, it's because it's just so hard to see until it's actually undeniable. It goes back to what I just said a minute ago. It's easy to trust brands once they become the brand, but it's hard to trust marketers that have their hands full in building one. So what's the answer for us as marketers? Well, in large part, it's something that marketers have realized for many years. You just got to keep your head down, keep working at it, using the resources that you have, dealing with spending cuts when they come, and keep working. Great content, great marketing programs, showing up in the competitive arena. At a certain point, a brand, well, it will become the brand. And if that's the point where the financial folks say, ah, we're going to start paying attention now, well, that's just the way it's going to be. And well, that's it. That's five minutes of what you need to lead in marketing. And remember, until we see you again, it's your story to tell. Make sure you're building trust with your audience and tell it well. I'll see you next week.